Hello again, YouTubers. Today we are doing a basically an unboxing and what's in the box. I looked all over YouTube. Uh, they don't have any. I, I've looked. This is the Traxxas T Max 49077 1. Basically, what this does is a uh, one of the things that comes with it is your uh, your controller connects to your vehicle, of course. Your transmitter connects to your receiver, but it has built-in telemetry. And there's what's called Traxxas Link. I'm just using my 10-inch LG G-Pad. Uh, there's several different things you can do it do with it. Uh, you can set basically every parameter. Uh, it has a dashboard that has the RPM of the engine, the speed, the temperature of the engine, the battery life. Uh, mine's off now, of course. Uh, many other things. Uh, in order to do this, all you do is turn on your transmitter, turn on your truck, make sure it's bound. Right now, neither one of mine are on. But you go into garage and Traxxas Link Wireless Module and application wants to turn on Bluetooth. Allow? Yes. Turning Bluetooth on. And now basically what you do is you turn on the transmitter and you press this little button. And there's a blue light that will start blinking and then once it starts blinking you hit this button and then it will uh, link everything up it's crazy I mean just it's amazing what is coming out nowadays uh, just for a quick comparison uh, this some of the things this what comes with the T-Max is basically what comes with any other but it comes with a few extra things uh, of course you get so this I call this a damn either a wall wart or a uh, this is a fucking car charger. Yeah, I won't use this that often. Uh, for one thing, well, they, these are actually fast. This is a fast charger. Uh, wall warts are very slow, seven hours. I actually used this when I got this is my Nitro Sport, my Traxxas Nitro Sport, and this will give you a bit of an idea how big this motherfucker is. Uh, the Nitro Sport comes with the, uh, TRX Pro .15. The .15 stands for, uh, the cubic inches. It's 2.5 cc's, so it's not .15 cc's. That's what I thought. It's just the, uh, the 2.5 is an actual racing motor. This has the, oh yeah, and, uh, with my Nitro Sport, I got a Fly Sky uh, GT3C Titanium. It comes with a lithium ion battery. Yeah. So that's really nice, but I won't be able to use it with this because I won't have my. Well, I can use it, but I'd have to s still use this. Now, a lot of people ask what this red thing is. Uh, there is a kit that you can buy for it that gives you reverse, it does not come with reverse. So that's it. Uh, you got your neutral and your uh, basically 50-50 or 70-30. You can't see it from where it's at. But 50-50 means you get uh, the same speed forward and backwards. 70-30 is you get more speed going forward and less speed going back. All it does is move the trigger. You can actually see the trigger move when I do it. See, the trigger actually moves up a little, but I keep it. I want to keep it at 50 50 because I don't have reverse yet. Uh, of course, charger comes in it. Uh, tracks this fuel bottle, so you don't need to go out and buy one of those. I don't have to worry about that because mine already, my Nitro Sport came with one. Uh, right now, I'm using top fuel 20%, it's what they say to use for break in. Let's look at the truck itself. All the goodies. It has an aluminum pipe, exhaust pipe. 
uh, the 3.3 uh, high tuned engine. It looks like a cast header, so I'm definitely going to be changing that. Uh, it actually has a extremely nice uh, slip clutch, which actually has three pads compared to the regular one, which uses big discs. This is not the classic. This is the brand new. Uh, it comes with tools. Uh, most of them I'm not exactly what they're... Uh, well, I know this wrench is to set the... Uh, the spur slip clutch that's for the uh, the glow plug and the other side is for the wheels not exactly sure what this plastic this big gray plastic thing is this is a little two millimeter wrench that's used to set the shift points to take the battery box off which it comes with uh, you have to put four double A's in it but there is a optional nickel metal hydride you can go with, or what I'm going to go with eventually, a uh, two cell 7.2 volt, just a very small, maybe 800 milliamp. Oh, I actually have one. Uh, LiPo. So you can recharge it. It actually has a uh, charge jack right here. Right here. Uh, Comes with an extra oil filter because one thing that they it's a, a two two stage, an inner and outer. The outer is supposed to be oiled. The inner, and you're supposed to change it every hour of use. And the inner is not supposed to be oiled, from what I've read thus far. When you get it on the fuel tank, it comes with a break-in procedure. Uh, the first tank, no more than a quarter a quarter throttle for two seconds uh, just let it do that on and off on and off and apply the throttle gradually let it cool for 15 minutes leave the body off for that then put the body back on and go up to half throttle two seconds at a time let it cool for another 15 minutes apply throttle gradually tank three throttle half three seconds this time don't let it cool just move on to the fourth and fifth with a body on, reduce idle speed if necessary because as it breaks in, the everything is going to not be as tight. Uh, the tolerances are very tight when you first get it. I haven't even started this one. This is brand new, brand new out of the box. I've already put the box away. You can see over here. There's the box. It's a big ass box, 45 plus mile an hour, two speed transmission, four wheel drive, eight shocks, sealed axles. <clears throat> uh, it comes with two body clips and when you get it, the body is actually has plastic over it that you have to take the two body clips off to take the plastic off and then you have your body. It does have the uh, three point, the TRX 3.3 .3 racing engine because you need it for, this thing weighs 18 pounds. So you definitely need that. Single steering servo, definitely gonna change, upgrade that. Of course, the easy start, gotta love that. Uh, 125 milliliter tank. Uh, again, telemetry, disc brake. Uh, what else? I believe that's... Oh, yeah, Willy Bar, which it comes... The, the book says everything is set up. But depending on your atmospheric conditions and everything, you are probably going to have to change some things. So let's get back to things that are actually in the box. That came in the box. Uh, four extra body clips. Because it only comes with two on it, so you're going to have to use another two to keep the body on. A uh, little book about the Willy Bar, how to set it, what, what it's used for, shit like that. A uh, little thing about the suspension, how it's set, how it's tuned, things like that. A lot of different stuff. Uh, I'm actually not going to be able to break mine in today because it is already... 
Let's see. It is already 95 degrees outside. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait till the weekend or something to break this in or morning, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'll start it, see what it sounds like, see if everything's running right. Uh, comes with all your tuning parts for your springs, uh, different shock configurations. Uh, you have the single hole, the triple hole, or the double hole. That's to allow the fluid through the shocks. But I'm happy with how it's set up. I will stiffen the springs a little. Of course, you get your stickers, your uh, registration form. Uh, that sums it up for that. Uh, you get all your books, of course. Uh, thing about all kind of different parts you can get for it. And also talking about the TQ1 top qualifier with a uh, Traxxas link. The actual book itself for the T-Max 3.3. And lastly, uh, what is this? What to do if your Traxxas model breaks. <laughs> Call them. Uh, I've heard they have very good customer service, so... Uh, it does come with a quick start. I have two because my Nitro Sport comes with... The, it's a, like I said, Pro, one, uh, Pro Point one five. This is the, uh, like I said, the TRX 3.3. Uh, the Pro 1.5 puts out about 0.5 horsepower. This puts out 1.58 horsepower. So, big jump right there. Lastly, when it comes to tools, you are going to need better tools than what comes with it. You're going to need some very small flatheads and I suggest going and getting non-magnetic. Make sure it is non-magnetic. Especially if you have stuff that flies. I have a, uh, a DJI Phantom and when I'm working on the uh, certain parts it cannot be touched with anything magnetic. So I have this and it comes with a extension which I will always use because the uh, this part right here is actually magnetic so I will always be using the extension and lastly make sure you set you make sure you get yourself a good set of metric and standard where are my standards A good set of metric and standard Allen wrenches because every bolt on this thing is Allen. There's a couple flatheads, but mainly it's Allen, Allen screws. But other than that, that's really all that comes in the box. Uh, from here, I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to put some fuel in it. See how it runs. See how it starts. See if there's any pains. Things of that nature. So that's basically it for this video. That's everything that comes with it. Things I suggest getting. Definitely some better tools. But that's it. Uh, all I will say is make sure you do the break-in procedure. You just bought a $500, if not more, depending where you got it from, a $500 remote control car. It has an engine in it that Electrics, yes, they are a hell of a lot easier to maintain, they're easier to use, but you have to wait for a battery. With these, you run out of fuel, all I do is open this up, give it some fuel, and you're going again. And that's one cool thing that I like, it actually comes with a tie strap to open it. And there's actually a hole on top of this. This, I actually have to take the entire top off to refuel it. But, of course, with this, I'm going to have to take the top off to mess with some of the settings. But, other than that, that's it. Uh, so, for all those out there, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Uh, oh, yeah, one thing I did forget. Make sure you get an infrared thermometer.
keep an eye on your temperature of your engine. Do not let it exceed about 250, 260. Uh, I've seen people run it up to about 290. My uh, Pro 0.15 can go up to 290 easily and still run. The only thing that happens is when it gets really hot, it's hard to start again because the fuel, it pushes the fuel away from the engine. So you have to hold the exhaust to get fuel running back into the engine. And once you get it running, you're good. So that's it. Have a good one.